bit fields provides the exact amount of bits required for storage of values. See this you would have uh, understood right from the beginning when we are using strings. So, when we say character name of 30, definitely we may not be giving a name which is 30 characters long. Generally a name can be a maximum of say 10 or 15 characters if you are going to give two names. But we, when we are saying character name of 30 that is because we want to be safe that we do not run out of space. So, to be on the safe side we just assign the maximum value. So, that invariably leads to loss of memory. So, this bit fields is instead of assigning storage in terms of bytes 30 bytes, 2 bytes and 4 bytes, we are going to take the individual bits of a byte to store the values. 8 bits make a byte. So, for an integer value sometimes it is necessary even if there are 4 bits to store a value. But when we declare a variable to be of type integer, the compiler automatically assigns 16 bits for it. So, though we are going to use only 4 bits or 3 bits, the compiler assigns 16 bits because the minimum storage allocation is 2 bytes. So, the rest of the 12 bits are just wasted. So, the bit fields tries to minimize that wastage. It calculates the number of bits required for a value of a variable and it is specified as a non-negative integer followed by a colon. We will be seeing this in the example how to declare the bit fields. It is used for conserving memory and it is used for padding and alignment purposes. Padding and alignment purposes normally comes in situations where you need to have a minimum number of bits for calculation. So, if your required value is less than the minimum required you can simply add extra values which do not hold any particular value, but they are just used for making up that space. So, this is the syntax here if you see you are having structure vehicle, vehicle is a tag, you are having unsigned type, unsigned model, unsigned fuel, having a colon and then you are having non-negative integers. What this indicates is that the first type can hold a maximum of 3 bits that is the value required to specify it is only 3 bits. For a model you require only 2 bits, for a fuel you require only 2 bits. So, what does this signify? This is the example. Now, here actually you are trying to represent vehicle details. So, you want to know whether the vehicle is a petrol or diesel type that is why this unsigned type is over here. You want to know whether it is a 2 or a 4 wheeler and then you want to know whether it is an old or a new model. So, you are having 3 categories over here, again you are having 3 categories over here. According to the user's discretion, if we just have 8 bits, it is enough to find out all these details. But actually if you go to declare it as you do usually using integers and characters, for petrol and diesel if you are going to assign character of 10 and for 2 or 4 wheeler character of 4 and for old and new model again character of 4, 10 plus 4 plus 4 that itself will take up 18 bytes. Okay, so, but actually according to our requirement we say that 8 bits itself is enough. So, how is it possible? You try to minimize the number of characters by which you can represent the type or the fuel or the model. See for the fuel you can just take the first 3 letters. P, T and D, I, E or P and just D. So, that will just require 1 or 2 bits for representation. Similarly, for the type of the car whether it is a 2 or a 4 wheeler, you can just have T and F or T, W and F, W, 2 wheeler and 4 wheeler. So, that again will take up only 2 bits. Similarly, for old and new model, you can have O, M and N, M, old, O, M for old model, N, M for new model. That will again take up only 2 bits. So, here you are trying to conserve the memory storage. Instead of simply saying character type and assigning 15 bytes, character fuel and assigning 10 bytes and making the maximum storage allocation, you can see the minimum way by which you can represent the information and you can conserve the memory for, for other purposes. So, this is the, this is one option. Normally, we generally do not use these bit fields in a normal programming, but just for you to know that this concept of bit fields is allowed in C where if you are running short of memory, you can always make use of this type to store the values. Now, here if you see no data type is mentioned at all, 
it is simply given unsigned 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 the number of bits alone is mentioned this is because you mention the data type only for memory allocation purpose because if the compiler says integer it will allocate 2 if it says character it will allocate 1 when you yourself are mentioning the number of bits required for storage the necessity to mention the data type is eliminated that is why the data type is not mentioned over here so this is the way we declare bit fields in the c programming language there are certain disadvantages with bit fields array of bit fields is not permitted we cannot use them with arrays because an array holds a starting address of the memory location and it will simply keep moving by the number of bits according to the bytes according to the data type so there array cannot keep looking out for what you have allocated and then keep moving up array is already defined to work a particular manner so it will work only in that way and pointers also cannot be used for addressing because pointers also make use of the fundamental data type to hold the address of a variable so both these concepts are not permitted with bit fields